Mohammed Mahassim lives in a small rented home in a slum on the outskirts of Dhaka, Bangladesh. He's originally from Bari village in the Kamila district, but was finding it difficult to make a decent living in the countryside, and so he moved to the capital city in search of a better life. He's done relatively well. He has a steady job as a driver for a wealthy family. He's married and he has two children. In my village, there was a crisis. There was no work, and so I came to Dhaka and learned to drive. I didn't have any land, and so I work in a field as a laborer, and I bought food from the market. I now earn 7,000 taka a month and spend 1,300 taka on rent, 4,500 taka on food, which means I can save three to 500 taka for medicine and other treatment. In part two of this series, I met with people living in the mountains of Nepal who were no longer able to grow enough food on their land to sustain them through the year. Food insecurity has traditionally been seen as a distant problem, happening in remote rural areas, but in Asia things are changing. As populations rise and farming land becomes more scarce, so more and more of the rural poor are moving into the cities to find food and jobs, bringing their insecurity with them. In the city where food is plentiful, it's no longer an issue of there not being enough food, but the food is simply too expensive for them to buy. Mohammed spends almost 6,000 of his 7,000 taka salary on food and accommodation, which means if food prices rise, it hits him hard. When the food price go up, I, ha I first have to reduce our expenditure and we also have to eat less and we try to search for cheap food. When food price go up, we reduce our eating from three meals to two meals a day. Hunger is moving from the remote countryside to the expanding cities, where any slight food price increase means a reduction of food input for those that spend most of their income on feeding themselves. In the last 40 years, the population in Bangladesh has doubled, but food production has tripled. The government now estimate that the country grows more or less enough food to feed its population, and therefore on paper at least, there should be no food security issue in Bangladesh. But there is. Sitting in a small office filled with unmarked student papers at Jahangunaga University, Professor of Economics Anu Mohammed explains the complexities of the food crisis. What happens that the lower the people with lower income spend higher proportion of their income on food because their income is so low that they have to spend 80 percent, 90 percent, some of sometimes more than 100 percent after borrowing some money to spend on food. So when people, the people who spend 10 percent or 15 percent they cannot feel that the, the pressure of food price rise that much. But the people who spend 80% or 90%, they feel every, every point of increase. In rural areas, they have certain opportunities, that is collecting some sort of food from common property like wetland or, or the trees, the fruits and, and the fish, etc. But in urban areas, where they have come to earn money, they have nothing to get other than their own money. And that money is not certain and stable. Food is linked to oil price, as the fertilizers used to increase yields rely heavily on oil for their production and transportation. But unlike oil, which people can choose to buy or not, no one can live without food. Economists call this a non-elastic product, which in times of uncertainty presents big opportunities for the agribusiness. Since 2007, uh, food price increased about more than 100% since 2007, in the last four years. 
and it has direct links with global price rise of food. Although it is not very logical to uh, increase price of rice here in Bangladesh because of global price rise, because import dependence is not that much. But when import price is getting, uh, is, is getting more and more, then the economic activities of the supplier and the importers become very much like behaving like oligopoly and they, 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 are in, they like to create artificial crisis and that affect uh, the food price in Bangladesh. In 2008, for the first time, the number of people living in cities globally outnumbered those living in rural areas. 2008 was also a strange year in Bangladesh. There was no major disaster, pest infestation, political turmoil. In fact, it was a good year for food production with a record rice harvest. Yet the country went into a food crisis. And it was not just in Bangladesh. In 2008, the World Bank estimated an extra 100 million people went hungry around the world because of food price increases. And the majority of these people were living in cities who did not have the means to access the food. Uh, in 2008, that was unprecedented price rise of rice globally. And that was because of, mostly because of speculative business. Uh, future, future selling and buying, future trade on, on, on food and energy. So that was the moment when uh, suddenly people realized that it is not mar market cannot solve everything. Although food banks have been set up since 2008 to try and stop such a crisis in the future, food prices continue to rise, and as they do, so the urban poor become more food insecure. My last question to Mohammed was whether he and his family were facing problems right now. When prices go up, I can't afford the normal food and so, yes, I face problems. In a year, sometimes it happens, like right now, the price of rice and cooking oil has gone up, so we can only eat twice a day.